Good morning, my friends, and welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration today. Today is October 28th, the, the Feast of Saints Simon and Jude, 12, uh, part of the Twelve. These are holy men whom the Lord chose in His own perfect love. To them He gave eternal glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Dear friends, as we are gathered today to celebrate this Eucharist, we call to mind our sins and failures. We ask the Lord to grant us pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant, through the intercession of Saints Simon and Jude, that the Church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went up the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called Azilat, and Judas, the son of James, 
and Judas Iscariot, who, beca- who became a traitor. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. In the Gospel today, we find Jesus choosing his closest friends and collaborators, commonly called the Twelve, or the Twelve Disciples, or the Twelve Apostles. Simon, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot. Twelve ordinary men, not wealthy, not famous, not influential. They had no special education. They were men of the common folk. So it is not hard to imagine that it was a risky gamble to choose these twelve. If you think of it, if you were in the position of Jesus and you want to succeed in your plans, you would definitely choose the best among the best, the brightest, the most trained, less hassle, less effort, greater possibility for success. Yet, he chose them. Additionally, they were also of strange mixture. Matthew, for example, was a tax collector, one who works for the Roman government considered to be traitor. And Simon the Zealot was a nationalist sworn to assassinate every traitor and every Roman he could. So again, it is not hard to imagine that it was a risky gamble to choose both of them and to bring them together because they could be natural enemies. Yet, Jesus chose them. He chose them to put together. Notice though, that such major decision was preceded by prayer. Before choosing, Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. So we know that it was not a spur-of-the-moment decision, one that was not given a thought, no. No matter how strange the decision may be, and risky the decision may be, it was a well-thought-of decision, in fact, a fruit of prayer. So on the get-go, we take note of this important lesson. Pray before making decisions. Decisions should not be a fruit of impulse or emotional outburst. They should be a fruit of careful and prayerful discernment because it only takes one decision to make a change in your life that will last forever. One decision can either make you or break you. One decision can be irreversible. So pray before making a decision. But also we realize that even with the choice of friends, we need to pray about it. Young friends, peer pressure is so common nowadays. The kind of friends that you surround yourself with can either make you or break you can either stop you from achieving your dreams or help you achieve your dreams. So choose your friends. And your choice, your choice of friends should also be a fruit of prayer as well. And finally, two disciples should get our attention today. Simon and Jude. Today is their feast day. In many ways, Simon and Jude could be the least among the twelve. They were placed at the very end of the list, named just before the notorious traitor Judas Iscariot. Also, their tombs in the Vatican are almost unnoticeable, while the tomb of St. Peter has a 70-ton bronze baldacchino sculpted by Bernini and placed under a massive dome-shaped tiara uh, designed by Michelangelo, the tombs of Saints Simon and Jude rest quietly in the southern transept of St. Peter's Basilica, such that most visitors to St. Peter's have no idea where they are. But I think the beauty lies in that. It was never truly about them. It was all about Jesus whether they would be noticed or not, whether they would be recognized or not, 
it doesn't matter. For all that concerns a disciple is not recognition, not fame, but fidelity to the Master, Jesus Christ. For that is all that matters. Nothing more, nothing less. Amen. Jesus chose the twelve whom he called apostles to make known to the nations his message of peace and to build up the community of believers. For Pope Francis and our bishops, Gerald Barnes and Alberto Rojas, that are successors of the apostles, they may be men of prayer and pastoral love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, making up God's household and built upon the foundations of the apostles, that we may work towards that unity which is in the mind and heart of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel that they are in a hopeless situation, that through the prayers of St. Jude, hope of the hopeless, they may believe, trust, and look confidently to the future, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nation of Iran, where Simon and Jude suffered martyrdom, thus that as it has been particularly devastated by the coronavirus, her people will support each other and pass peacefully through this crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in the silence of our hearts, we offer to the Lord all our prayers and petitions. Lord God, the message of your Son shared with the Apostles, Simon and Jude, echoes across the globe. May it find a home in all hearts and bring people to the peace and love of Christ, who is Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you foot of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you foot of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, O Lord. And may I sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. And so pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles, Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the, the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gerald, our Bishop, Alberto, our Coadjutor Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, my dear friends, Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us forever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, thank you very much for joining us in this celebration. Please uh, check our website for updated information on our mass schedule beginning this weekend. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you and your loved ones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Now go, offer your lives to the Lord in prayer. Thanks be to God.